Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use some lemon, some purple gin, and I'm going to make this, the spring fever. But first, this. All right, it's spring, and you've been stuck in the house just like me for the last couple of months. So while I was on my computer, this cocktail came across my Facebook feed, and I guess Facebook and Empress Gin figure I need to see these at. However, I was intrigued because of the color and the way it looked. And also it gave me a reason to try their gin, and I've never tried their gin before. So let's get into this. Now, Empress Gin is not supporting this channel. I went out and paid for it all on my own. And I've never had a purple gin before. And one of the things I like about what's happening now in the craft cocktail industry is that you have a lot of local little distillers that are starting up and creating their own little flavors, their own little setups. And this purple gin is very much like that. This is from British Columbia. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this now because I haven't tried this before. It's got a very unique color to it. it smells pretty good, it smells floral. Let's see what we have here in my fancy little shot glass. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. I can taste it. Um, this is a 42.5% uh, alcohol in this bottle, which is not bad. It's uh, a little bit stronger than your standard 40. And this is pretty good gin, actually. Mm. Let's uh, get into making this cocktail now. So the first thing, of course, I need is my shaking glass. We also need two ounces or 60 mils of the Empress gin. However, we're gonna split that and we're gonna use one ounce now and one ounce later. So one ounce of Empress Gin works out to 30 milliliters. And when we look at this, the next thing of course we need is a little bit of lemon juice. And we need three quarters of an ounce. Look at that, instant purple, awesome, I like that. Color changing gins, yes. Okay, so the other thing we need of course is half an ounce of a honey syrup. And so what I have here is a one-to-one -one honey syrup. This is one part water, one part honey. Warm it up enough to incorporate everything and then let it cool off before you use it. And you might think this might make it a little bit sweet, but it's not, I promise. So what we'll do now is we'll add a little bit of ice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah. So the recipe calls for a wine glass or a copper glass as they call it. So I'm gonna use my large size glass here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a whole bunch of ice to this. Obviously not that piece. That looks nice. One of the things I am going to do though, is I'm going to garnish this now rather than later. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use lemon and I'm going to cut a thin lemon wheel. And the reason I'm going to do this now is the original cocktail calls for a little bit of lemon clothes pegged to the side of the glass. Personally, I don't like clothes pegs because, you know, I do all my laundry uh, nice and neatly in a dryer, so I don't happen to have any laying around. So it looks pretty good this way, right? So what we'll do is I'm now going to strain this in here. And of course, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of uh, grapefruit soda. And we're going to add what looks like two ounces. Okay, maybe three or four. Looks really pretty. I got this beautiful, beautiful color happening here. But this is where we're going to use our last ounce of the Empress Trim. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to float this layer on top. And this will give us a nice separation of the colors. And one of the reasons this will work is the specific gravity of the, food, the fluids included. And I, I sound really stupid here saying this. I talk about specific gravity, I mean, it has to do with the weight of each of the liquids. And the higher the sugar content, the heavier it is. So for example, grenadine being the heaviest you can get, and that always sinks to the bottom. However, vodka will always be up on top because it has a specific gravity less than that of water, and that's also partially based on the uh, size of the molecules. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my uh, spoon upside down, and we're just going to gently, and I'm spilling it all around, and look at that. There you go, except I'm not happy. I spilled some of my, uh, my, my gin, thoroughly upset. It's a waste of alcohol and a bit of a, ah, abuse. And here we have the spring fever. Look at that. That is a very, very pretty drink. If you would use something different in this uh, cocktail, let me know, put it down in the uh, comments down below. Uh, I think this is something that's definitely well worth the, the look. And let's give it a taste. It smells good. I can get a little bit of the floral notes of the, and the citrus notes of the lemon directly being right there. I also get a little bit of the floral notes of the gin and they work very, very nicely together. Oh, and the grapefruit and the sweetness down below it combines very, very nicely. And you notice how it, it keeps its level of uh, gin on the top. And, oh, this is a pretty good cocktail. I like this. Visually, it's gorgeous. Imagine having this on your back deck. Nice, clean, crisp. It doesn't leave a, a back aftertaste. I like it, and I think you will too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ingredients and the method of how to make this in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way it's not up to uh, YouTube to tell you whether I've produced a new video or not. But if you don't like gin, and you don't like something that looks like purple, a purple gin, hit the thumbs down button twice. You know what I want? Hit the thumbs up button. And we'll see you next time. Facebook feed. And I guess Facebook and Empress Gin feels. All right, it's spring and I'm confused. Brewer, one of the good things I'm seeing about craft breweries is that I can't get into this. 